ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of August. If you're new to this, we do this twice a day weekdays, once a day weekends. Make it up uh, available on iTunes and YouTube and various parts around the Internet. So we're glad you're here, and we've got a lot to talk about today. So let's go right to it as we usually do we'll start with some of the sky cam shots to give you a peek out the window across the great state of alabama this afternoon coming from the abc 3340 sky cam network that's the view from birmingham the top of the daniel building looking east as expected the sky mostly sunny pretty good buildups down in demopolis we note the dew point down there is 74 so the air is uh, pretty ripe and there might be a shower or two popping in that region that's looking north from the demopolis civic center and from Huntsville, the mighty Saturn V poking up there at the Alabama Space and Rocket Center and the sky up in Tennessee Valley, mostly sunny. Uh, that's where we stand today. And again, we've got the same two players we've had for the last four or five days, the upper level low on the Red River near Paris, Texas, and Fay that's near Cape Canaveral. And rain with uh, those systems are to the east and to the west, and uh, we'll probably stay in the same pattern tomorrow. Any shower should be pretty widely scattered. There's the QPF chart. This is rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting 15 inches of rain around Daytona Beach on the Florida coast. That's a wet day. Of course, that's five days, but that's a wet five days. And six and a half inches at Pensacola. And understand, uh, while it's got hardly, uh, well, I say hardly any, not much over North Alabama, I really think that uh, once this thing gets around Mobile Bay, whether it comes in directly from the east or from the southeast, it'll be coming right up through Alabama. And I think we will stand a good chance of getting a good wet down by Monday of next week. There's a look at Fay this afternoon. Uh, no real change. It's kind of sitting right there on the east coast of Florida near Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, maybe a bit north of there. And huge rains are uh, beginning to uh, circulate inland. There's a look at the circulation on the radar coming from uh, Melbourne. And the main effect of this thing will be tremendous rains. In fact, look at the storm totals. <laughs> uh, that's suggesting, uh, what, over 8 inches around Melbourne. And in some cases, they're over 10 inches. But notice over in Tampa Bay, hardly any rain. Uh, this has not been a deal where the entire Sunshine State has been soaked. It's been mainly really south of a line from about... Uh, Punta Gorda up to Daytona Beach so far. And in terms of the modeling on Fay, the models are in reasonable agreement that it will be moving west and then turning north up through West Alabama. Now, certainly we have some outliers here, but uh, that's the general idea. And boy, if that's right, uh, again, we're going to get soaked here by Monday of next week. Here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center. And this uh, shows... Really not much variation from their morning track. It's got it moving from uh, where it is now, northwest, up into South Alabama, down there below Andalusia, then up into uh, the Alabama-Mississippi border region south of Livingston and York uh, by Monday morning of next week. And again, we wonder if that thing just might try and make a run at the waters of the Gulf of Mexico a bit farther south than that track and then curving up into uh, Mobile Bay maybe as a, uh, maybe as a minimal hurricane. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and we'll show you more modeling here in a moment. First off, a quick look at 94L. And you can see really two uh, disturbances, two waves out there. Uh, on 94L, we've got uh, this modeling. And again, the spread kind of runs it right on up toward the uh, Leeward Islands. And uh, we will deal with that one later. We'll focus on Faye and kind of watch that with our uh, other eyes. Okay, back to modeling. This is the GFS, Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Thursday. You can see the blocking ridge that's forcing Fay to the west. That's in the upper levels down below. Fay is uh, really a little north of Tampa on this run. Friday, it's hugging the coast around Cedar Key, uh, moving northwest. Saturday, it's around Panama City. And then Sunday on the GFS, it is uh, just north of Mobile Bay. And if this is right, Sunday could be a very wet day for South Alabama. And then Monday, it begins to turn north. And you can see why we think Monday could be a big soaker. Almost every model turns it north uh, and curving into the westerlies there. So the GFS is suggesting Sunday night and Monday could be very, very wet for 
all of Alabama, including our part of the state. And then on Tuesday, it moves northeast on up toward, uh, Lexing- or, uh, toward Lexington and uh, Knoxville. Now, quickly, the GFDL, this is uh, where it's got it. And, boy, look at that. Uh, late Sunday, it's got the thing, a uh, Sunday night between Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Got the pressure at 996 millibars, and that's suggesting the thing is still a tropical storm with very heavy rain. So the GFS and the GFDL agree could be a big rain event. What about the European? Let's look at that one. Boy, look at Sunday. The Europeans got that thing as a hurricane coming up on Gulf Shores. It's Sunday evening at uh, 7 o'clock. Monday, it moves right up U.S. 43 toward Thomasville and Demopolis. And then Tuesday, the thing just kind of drifts back to the east a little bit. And, and again, you can see why we are thinking we could see a big soaking because now almost every model is in agreement with that. We've seen the GFTL, the GFS, and the Europeans. So, uh, of course, it's not carved in stone. We all know this can change. But, boy, it looks wet early next week. And then uh, quickly at the end of the cycle on the 5th of September, just for the fun of it, big old ridge across much of the deep south, and that kind of looks like a typical late summer pattern right there. But, uh, again, uh, that's uh, where we stand right now. Don't forget, uh, you can always see the latest updates on our thinking on the blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, uh, that is frequently updated. The next video will be posted by tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. And uh, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather for the